Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to fix a sticky shift key on this 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro model A, what is this, 255 or 2251, alright. So first things first, let's go ahead and open this up. So this shift key was like very sticky, so I'm going to show you how you would remove it, okay. Um, I also disabled the, uh, they're using Windows on this computer, so I disabled sticky keys that because it kept getting stuck here like it get it was getting stuck held down because there was some sticky substance trapped underneath probably some liquid spill that had sugar um yeah so anyways the way you remove this there are clips going along the top and the bottom so what you do i use my fingernail to get under here you can use a thin pry tool or whatever works for you and along the top and bottom there are these metal bars so you're gonna have to pull this up and then get a thin tool. I use this thin um, uh, paper clip that I just folded out. And then once you get in, you wanna go in from the middle and then you're gonna work your way across the top while pulling this slightly up. You don't wanna pull too hard cause you don't wanna break that. And now we got the top more loose, okay? There's also a bar along the bottom. So we're gonna get under there, same thing. Get it in at the middle. Okay, and then you're gonna work your way across. You wanna just go towards the outer edge. You don't wanna go towards the inside of the key. Okay, and then you're gonna kinda pull that. While pulling it up, you slide this and push down. Okay, and you can see we're kind of sliding that across and it's kind of popping up. All right, so here you can see now the key is kind of more loose, top and bottom. Once you do that, there's two hinges under here, white ones. Uh, once I kind of get this whole thing out, I'll show you so you can get a better idea. Um, but we're gonna go under the center and then we're gonna work our way down. And the reason we do that is because on the bottom of this, there are clips that are shaped like this that grab over the hinge. And we're basically just popping those clips off the hinge, okay? So we're gonna pull this up, same thing, go from the center, okay? get in and then you want to kind of get up close to the top of the key not down towards the bottom and then once you do that again slide the tool down and there you go we can wiggle this and remove that so here are the two metal bars you got the two hinges here let me actually even zoom in even closer for you okay so here's what it looks like these bars they do come out once you get that so we can just take these out just like that they do hook in there and there Okay, so you got these two hinges, and the way this works, here you can see the shift key, okay, and when I flip it over here, you can actually see, um, so on the top here, these are the clips that hold the metal bars on the outer side, and then if you look, um, let me see if I can get a better view, I maybe need to zoom out and just hold it closer, okay. So if you look here at the bottom of the key, can I get it to focus? So towards the bottom of the key, it has these like, clasps as you can see they're shaped like this and they grab onto the little hooks down here not here the ones in the middle here okay they're smaller ones but it grabs those little hooks or those little pieces of plastic and then it holds them on these ones here they just hook on to the thing so let me show you a close-up of what that looks like okay okay so here you can see a close-up of the hinge here and basically the top part hooks on to the outer corner right there. So it hooks on that and this one, so those two. And then the little clasps, the ones that click in, they hold on to this one and this one in the middle. If I pull this up, you can actually see, oops, see, you can actually see it grabs onto that and that's what allows the hinge to work. Okay, if you need to remove the hinge to clean it, so you can see there's this metal piece here that kind of goes over this piece and a metal piece here going over this piece. So I use this very small flathead screwdriver and basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna get in here and you basically push that out and up. So I get underneath that and you might have to adjust it more uh, vertical or more flat depending on what you need to do. And there you go, when you push that, it pops out pretty easily. So just like that, okay, get under and pop that. Once you get those two out, you can see it flips up and then you can push this out to get it out of those little hooks right there. And that's how you get these hinges out, all right? And to clean it, I just get it in some warm water, okay? 
I get these pieces in warm water. Don't, don't make it too hot, it's just warm water to dissolve the sugar. Then pull them out, dry it with paper towel, all right? And then to clean this part, I kind of use a toothbrush, first a dry toothbrush, all right? And you just kind of like brush it around like that, get whatever stuff out um, to get any dust and things out. And then if there's any sticky liquid there, um, the paper towel that you use to kind of dry those keys, um, just make sure to squeeze it, okay? Squeeze it. Make sure there's no water that's gonna drip out. Don't do it over the laptop, obviously. But it should just be slightly wet, slightly moist, enough to just, when you wipe it, it pulls that stickiness away, all right? And then you can dry it off. You can get a new paper towel and then do it again with a little bit of water. Again, you don't want it to drip. And that's just so that it can dissolve the sugar and absorb it into the paper towel. Okay, so now to put this thing back, okay? So let's zoom in here give you guys a good view all right and the other keys are very similar except all it has are these plastic latches i'm not going to pull them out because those aren't broken and i don't want to risk damaging them when they're perfectly fine um and the only thing is you need to figure out which side has the little clasps like on this you can see again they are on the bottom of the key um, and you want to figure out which side of the letter keys and other keys has has the clasp because if you try and pry it up from the wrong side like the top here and you pry that hook off um, there's a good chance you'll break these plastic pieces or you'll break the hook off the key and then you'll need to buy replacements luckily usually you can find these keys for like less than 20 bucks or so like 5 to 20 bucks um, so if you want you can order that and replace it all right now to know which way you put this if you look at it you can see the little hooks or the little things down here they're lower in the plastic so that's what you want actually pointing down you don't want to put it upside down this way, okay? So make sure the plastic that goes there is further or closer down. All right, so next thing we do is basically the opposite. You hook this back onto there. It's hard to do this with the camera my way, but you hook the those little ones back in there first that are facing down, and then you can click that down. You kind of push, pull down that way as you push down, and you can see it clicked back in. All right, the little metal hooks, you just hook one in on this side. Okay, it has a little hole there. You can insert it from there and you do that on both sides. Okay, it's, again, it's hard to do this while looking at the camera, but get that on both sides, hook it in. And then same thing with the other one, get that in. If you want, you can even insert it from the side and then slide it into place. And then you can do the same thing with the other one, but it helps to kind of use that middle hole. All right, so there you go. Get those two lined up and everything. And then you just take this key we're gonna start with the top and get that in, and then click that in, click this in, and there you go, fixed shift key.